come on in. Welcome to our cottage. It has been, I think, two years, is it? Coming up to two years since we moved into this house. And when we moved in, we did a empty house tour. So I thought it'd be fun to do a tour of the house. Now it's been two years since living here and two years of renovation. We haven't done everything. Some of it looks exactly as it was when we moved in, but there's been so much exciting changes. Lots of you have already seen the changes because I've done loads of tours on my channel. So if you wanna see detailed tours and renovation vlogs, then I'll leave a link to my renovation playlist up here so you can like see the whole journey, but kind of fun to do a roundup. So this is our hallway. Nothing has changed in here. Um, we always knew this would be the absolute last thing to do because with builders, it's pointless making this nice. Um, but let's go into the living room where lots of changes have been made. So this is our living space, which we have dumped a lot of our stuff in that we moved yesterday. So it's a bit of a mess and you can see our old sofa, which has no legs on it right now, but. It's quite nice, it's like a little futon. I know, it's like a cute little sofa. This is our living room. Oh, and we've got a tree up because it's December. And we also actually have another addition to the house. You weren't here when we moved in, were you? This is little Roxy. <laughs> so the first thing that's probably the most obvious is this fireplace. Um, when we moved, there was this 70s, concrete fronted, horrible fireplace. And we knew there'd be something magical hiding beneath there, didn't we? Mm. So we got um, Cornwall wood burners in and they said, basically, we just start digging, see what's there. And they uncovered this massive fireplace, which makes the room feel so much bigger. And as you can see, it's the coziest thing in the world. Um, we also changed all of our windows. This was one of the first things that we did. Um, we got windows done and shutters installed and it just brought the house back to feeling like a cottage again because the windows were pretty gross, pretty 80s and didn't really match the house. It took us like two weeks to decorate this room. We did it ourselves because there was so much prep work. Um, we just painted everything brilliant white, uh, painted all the doors white and then we just got this furniture. This is from Rustic Kerno. We got this bookcase. Uh, custom built so it matched the height of the door and it's all made from reclaimed wood and it also matches our TV console which you might notice we don't have a television. Um, I just watched the video back of when we moved in and we were like should we get a projector should we get a TV and what did we get Alex? Projector. A projector. Alex was like let's get a projector and we like um, channeled all of the wires behind underneath the sofa so there's no mess and it's the best thing ever. Highly recommend getting a projector. I just love the size of it feels so cozy and like you're in your own little cinema room. And we just completely changed the layout of the room. It's actually one of you who suggested this layout to have the sofa along the window, which I never would have thought of, but it makes it a little zone here and then it's like a nice little area at that end. But this is my favorite room in the house, I think. Maybe tied with the bathroom. And we spend most of our time in here, don't we, Rosie? Don't we, Rosie? All of the ceilings are very low, you'll notice. I am five foot 11, so keep in mind that I'm a bigger than average woman. <laughs> so I, I'm i tall, the ceilings are low, so it just makes for an extra, you know. But it's cozy, it's quite normal in cottages in Cornwall and, and in England. Go on your tiptoes, <laughs> walk past the beam. <laughs> just about. Um, if you're from America or maybe other places around the world, this might be very unusual, but it's so, so normal because this house, I think is like 400 years old. Uh, so if you take into account how old it is, people were not as tall. It would have been a miner's cottage and they lived very simply. I think it actually also used to be a pub and a post office. So a lot of history in this house. I'll take you into the kitchen in a bit, but we haven't really done much in there. So it's not that interesting. We did renovate the stairs. They have had a few little knocks like this bit here. Ignore that, the paint has come off. Um, but we got a stair runner, which is the same carpet as the living room, which is actually faux jute. We looked at jute and it was just so expensive. So we found this faux jute at Traeger Mills. If you're from Cornwall, you know, <laughs> you know Traeger Mills probably. I love it, it looks so cottagey. And we've got this garland running up. But it took us so long, didn't it, to like sand and paint the stairs, but it made such a difference. And this is just our messy area with loads of coats and dog stuff and 
wellies, not very interesting. I'd much rather if it was all built in, but maybe that's another job. <laughs> so upstairs, follow me. Say hello. Hi. This mirror is my pride and joy. I've shoved some Christmas tree trimmings up there. Um, this was second hand. Most of the stuff in the house is second hand, so the likelihood is I got it off Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree or eBay. This was on Facebook Marketplace for like, was it 200 or 300 pounds? 200. 200 pounds, and um, I'm just so in love with it. Um, we haven't really decorated the hallway that much. I mean, I painted, but there's like exposed wires, um, but you know, it'll do for now. And these banisters are so low and so crooked, but so cottagey. <laughs> Come into the bathroom. So this is the small little first bedroom, which is so cute. And look at these windowsills, I just love them. And it's just, oh, it's so adorable. big project we did and it took was it a month or two months it was a month mm. we thought it would take two weeks but it took a month yeah. um it was a bedroom and you will have seen in the before that it was a bedroom it was empty and we had an ensuite in our master which we removed which you'll see in a second and we originally were going to put like a small bathroom in between the two and we just thought that's just going to take up too much room this would become a tiny room which would be pointless and there's no use in having four bedrooms upstairs in a small house like this without a bathroom like a proper bathroom so it's much more usable as a space and as a house to have three bedrooms and one proper sized bathroom which is a lovely shower and lovely bath so much more practical for us and for anyone else who lives here in the future. This bathroom, everything's secondhand pretty much. The sink, we got secondhand, and we got our plumber to install it onto this old school desk. Got this tap secondhand, the bath, the shower fittings, the um, frameless shower, we got, I think it was in a warehouse discount, wasn't it? Mm. Um, which I highly recommend you check out. Like if you're looking on any websites, um, go see if they have an eBay account, and often they sell stuff reduced. Um, but yeah, the shower fittings here, all were second hand. The toilet was second hand. This is reclaimed wood. So we really tried our hardest to make everything as sustainable as possible because that's important. And I think there's an issue with like, you know, people renovating their homes and just buying everything new. I think it's really great to try and source things second hand and get vintage stuff and resources that already exist. And I love this bathroom. It makes me so happy. <laughs> It took me so long to figure out a layout. I would sit there late at night drawing all the different layouts. And I think our plumber was even like, how are you gonna fit all of this in? But a frameless shower has done wonders for this room and it's actually really, really massive. And what you probably can't tell is that there's a chimney breast back here and it actually ended up working quite well with the shower and then the toilet being recessed there and having um, the tug and groove paneling has enabled us to have shelving around the room. So. We managed to make it work. We managed to fit a cupboard in because we've got no um, linen cupboard in the hallway. We've got this huge radiator, which actually our plumber told us to get, which is great for drying towels. So what was actually a tiny bedroom has been used for such a great sized bathroom and best shower on the planet, isn't it? Mm. Like when we go away, I'm like, I'll miss my shower. I want to go home and have a shower in my shower. <laughs> so come through and let's go into our master bedroom. This is the master the biggest bedroom, which we already have our bed in. But it's a nice size room, it's perfect for us. I don't really like big bedrooms because I don't like having a lot of stuff in bedrooms. It's really, really cozy and cute. And then this is the ensuite that I was talking about. It's a sunny flow, is that what it's called? I believe so. But we're thinking of making this bathroom like a little bit smaller on this side, pushing into that room a bit and having it be able to access from the hallway. bedroom we removed the ensuite in the before there was this like 
triangular corner on sweet which was so small that when you sat on the toilet and tried to close the door your knee touched the door it was ridiculous <laughs> and the shower was so small you couldn't raise your arms up i'm not sure why they put it in so we first of all got rid of that because we wanted a proper sized master bedroom and this bedroom is so bright and so big and lovely um, and you might notice that we also ripped up the carpet and restored the old floorboards i love floorboards these are i think victorian we did have some floorboard issues in other rooms because they were original floorboards they were probably like 1600s and they were really thick planks but they just had had it whereas these ones were in good condition and they restored them really beautifully we put this in the little nook because this is our chimney breast um and we originally were like should we get rid of it and it would have just been such an expense uh to gain like a tiny amount of space so we just put an open rail here with again some reclaimed wood and there's another shelf down here and stuff for our shoes and all of this stuff is secondhand this dress is secondhand but one of my favorite things in the room is the bed of course which roxy also loves thank you rosie this bed is also from rustic kerno and even though it's a king size bed i feel like it looks very grand um it looks like a super king or like an emperor because it's so big and I just love it, it's so cosy and so comfy and I feel like it really suits the rustic feel. I haven't got a lot of colour in the house, most of the rooms are like white so I really like woods and natural materials. This chest of drawers, we have two of them and we got these on Facebook and I love them, I love the antique pine, it's just, I was so, so set on getting a chest of drawers like this when we moved and I hunted and hunted and finally found one, I think we got both of them, was it, for £110? Mm. And Alex drove all the way down to the bottom of Cornwall to get them. And yeah, absolutely love them. So this is the last little room. Again, it's another small room. Um, it has another chimney, but this one's the actual chimney that's being used, the actual fire that's actually been used. it is never this tidy actually this is tidy for this office we usually have this whole sofa filled can you see the sofa hmm. so i'm always so like shocked by this wide angle lens how it shows everything um yeah this sofa is usually filled with pr boxes and like camera equipment and stuff but um we changed the layout of this room we used to have the um desk here and then we realized there's only really enough space for one person so we've got rustic kerno again <laughs> to design two desktops which are um the right size and then we fitted these legs on them and it means that when we're working we can look out the window and alex has got his big desktop computer here these are the exact same shelves and um, brackets as in the other two rooms so it's kind of like i feel like it all kind of matches and comes together and we've got lots of plants I've got my 100,000 subscribers plaque YouTube please do half a million one because us guys at half a million we may never make it to a million and we don't get another plaque like why not there's a big picture of Roxy on the wall here it's a little line drawing which Alex got me as a gift we've also got the floorboards done in here um, which makes it feel very cozy it's a small little room but you know what during lockdown it was great for working at home we did use oh! <laughs> We did used to rent out an office, but obviously we had to stop that because of um, everything going on this year. And we decided to just completely make this, you know, workable for us. So we love it. But this is the second bedroom. This is the second biggest room. Again, with lovely curtains, which I'm definitely keeping. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Frankie! This is Zeus. 
Everyone always says to me, you've got cats? I have cats, yes. We've had them for like a couple months now. They were like family cats and we've inherited them. This is Frankie. And they all get on really well. Roxy doesn't mind them, do you? Do you wanna get out? This is our spare bedroom. It's painted the same color as the hallway, which is actually um, a color match to Farrow and Bull's skimming stone. And we got it in B&Q, I think it's Valspa. So it's cheaper and um, it's a beautiful color. I feel like in the hallway, it looks a bit darker, but in here it's got almost a green tinge to it. It looks like clay. And I just love this color. I'm gonna keep using this color forever because it's so, so nice. But yeah, all the furniture in here is secondhand. This lovely wardrobe we got from, I think, Kathy's Vintage or something. I'll leave a link down below. Um, she sells uh, vintage stuff and she upcycles them. And I think it's, she's based in either Halston or Hale. It's painted in, I think, Farrow and Bulls, something gray, but it's not gray, it's green. I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen. But it's beautiful. This has got like our smart clothes and summer clothes in here so it's like extra storage this bed is zeus's bed he sleeps on here every day this bed was 50 pounds from facebook marketplace again very very affordable and both mattresses are, are they casper hmm. casper um i love the light upstairs and like the view is so pretty outside with all the trees i love the shutters it's just one of the best decisions we made in this house was doing the windows. So if you're doing your house up and you've got crappy windows and you're hesitating, do it because it makes such a big difference. I feel like it immediately made this house feel more expensive and newer and better. These prints are worth mentioning too. These prints are from Botanical Atelier. Ignore the fact that they're crooked. Alex did it. <laughs> Didn't check to measure that they were accurate. That looks fine on camera. <laughs> I've got another one in our bedroom too and it's a local artist in Falmouth. And I just love them so much. They're so pretty. I've got some books down here. We have my book. I've realised it's been a, my book has been in like basically every room. There's one in the living. There's a pile in the living room, a pile in the office, and one in here. A bit, a bit vain, aren't you? I mean, if you write your own book, it's got to be in every room of your house, doesn't it? But I'll leave this link below. It's a good Christmas present idea, I think. It's called Minimal: How to Simplify Your Life and Live Sustainably. So, nice little comprehensive guide for you to live sustainably in 2021 but yeah that is the last room upstairs and there's just one room downstairs to show you but nothing has changed we did most of the work upstairs and a lot of it was doing the windows the shutters the flooring and getting the fundamentals right and all the animals just like to jump over all of our furniture <laughs> um but i love the upstairs it feels so cozy so lovely and i'm so grateful to live in this house because it's beautiful and it's a dream house come through here is our kitchen space so give a pan <laughs> and all of our stuff is just dumped so ignore all of that so this is our kitchen right now so it's like a little corridor style kitchen the final space is the kitchen which is just on the right off the hall and as you can see we've not done anything in here it's kind of echoey because we haven't done anything the only thing we have done is try and remove paint from this beam and then realize that is too much of a job and we're never going to do that so there's just this big gouged hole but i just kind of want to have some like reality here i see lots of renovation videos and lots of people moving into homes and they renovate their homes in under a year everything's done and complete and that doesn't have to happen for everybody like i feel like in the normal world it takes a long time to renovate a home there's you know things going on in life and you know this year it's been crazy so it's just not something we've got around to doing and you'll have to stay tuned to hear the full explanation of why we haven't done the kitchen yet um so just subscribe and you'll you'll see but i'll show you the kitchen anyway because our stuff is in here it was empty when we showed you last this table's gone with me everywhere it used to be my parents and they got it secondhand from gumtree like years and years and years ago, like when I was a child. I think it was a, a table off a ship. So it's really cool, the legs unscrew, so it's really easy to transport. All of these chairs are secondhand off Facebook. Um, we've got this big dresser here, which we got for extra storage. And it doesn't normally look this neat. I got rid and hid the cereals and all the extra stuff, so it looks very aesthetic right now. 
We got all of our fruit and veg and stuff on here. Obviously, it's not the best storage solution, and I know lots of you have said about putting like shelves down here, but I am a bit of a all or nothing kind of person, and I don't feel like doing any renovations or solving any of the sort of storage problems unless we're actually renovating this room properly. So it's just stayed as it is. This kitchen, you may have seen a few times in my videos. Uh, again, nothing has changed. We haven't even put any paint on the walls. This kitchen probably looks better on camera than it is in reality. Very little storage and all of the cupboards are very dirty and like breaking. Like you can see here, all of this stuff has come off. There's a massive hole down here, um, which is just like an abyss of cobwebs. It's not the nicest kitchen to be in. Unless it's sunny like today, it is a dark tunnel, which makes it impossible to film. It'd be actually a really lovely kitchen if my job wasn't cooking and lighting wasn't important, but it has been tricky and isn't this light gorgeous? See, I haven't even changed the lights. This is how like non-bothered I've been about doing this room until we actually properly do it. But come down here, and this is the last bit. Not very interesting, it's the same as it is. It's basically just like a junk area. And there's this very weird archway, which is quite low. But then if you come through to here, there's a kind of, well, hopefully you can show it to you on camera, but it's a small little corridor. So it's a bit strange. So you can turn around here, and there's like a utility space. It's, where's the light? So there's this archway, which is quite low. And down here, you'll see in a second, there's like exposed walls. So this would have been the original wall of the house. And this whole thing is a like 80s extension. This, I don't like this. I don't know why they did this because it means that the whole room is like closed off. There would have been a window here probably or a door. Um, but this makes the whole place quite dark. And this is a bathroom. I'm not going to bother showing you the bathroom. If you want to see it, go watch the previous video because it's just full of junk. Yeah, it's a perfectly lovely bathroom, bath, sink, toilet, and um, will do us really well. Um, well, no, it's not full of junk. It's just got um, cat litter in there and um, all of our uh, sofa cushions from outside. But down here is the utility. This is quite cool. And I know lots of you, when you first saw the video, were like, wow, you've got to make a feature of that. And it is amazing. Um, they haven't like um, pointed it very well. It's just filled with cement. So that should probably be changed. But yeah, it's very cool having like the original outside wall inside the house. It's kind of very fun. Um, but this is just the utility space. Uh, we've just got a sink here, which we use for DIY, our um, washing machine, and this is the boiler, which has all of the, the animal food. And then there's this like weird little under the stairs bit here, just like a little under the stairs area. We've got some like wood storage and recycling. Um, and this is our back door out to the garden. Again, not gonna show you the garden, it's too cold today and nothing's really changed apart from we put a fence up. I hope you enjoyed seeing our cottage. It's nice and quaint and small. We live in Cornwall, I don't think I mentioned that. Can you hear her snoring? Very happy puppy. We live in Cornwall, so this cottage is in Cornwall. And yeah, we've been renovating it for two years. If you wanna see the whole process, then go back and watch our renovation vlogs and also go back and watch the empty house tour in full um, because it's crazy how much has changed. It's cost a lot of money. These renovations, you know, this kind of thing does cost a lot. We'll explain in the future why we're not doing the kitchen because there's money comes into it. And yeah, make sure you subscribe for lots of exciting things to do with our house and everything in the future. And I'll see you in my next video. Roxy says goodbye. <laughs> you good girl. You're just gonna collapse, are you? Yes, ready for tummy rubs? <laughs>